All right, so I'm going to answer the question, should you make a swing change? I think this is like a question people ask of themselves. Should I just sort of stick with the swing I know, you know, or uh, should I do try to do something different, learn something new? So I think that the more subtle answer is the problem is your swing is always changing anyway. So nobody, we all have this idea that we could somehow lock in this swing pattern and then it's just it's fixed and that's how it is but I think uh, a swing like a golf swing is a little bit like how they talk about memory now which people used to think memory was just like recorded on tape and then just gets played back but the reality is memory every time you remember something uh, it sort of comes to your conscious mind gets rewritten a little bit and then goes back into your, you know, unconscious or whatever. So I think we have the same problem with our motor patterns is that they subtly move over time. And I'm sure everybody's experienced where they're hitting a hook. So I'm going to like fix my hook. And somebody tells you, well, you have to, you know, make a dramatic move. And you feel like you're doing this dramatic move. And that just produces a straight ball. You're trying to hit this giant fade. And you have a straight ball and then you think okay that's the fix for my hook but then what happens over time is slowly you actually start moving toward a real fade and pretty soon now you're hitting uncontrollable slices and so you, then you have to move back so the thing is a swing is always in flux and so the question is you can make your swing better for sure I think there's ways to make your swing better, but I think the most important part is maybe what Jack Nicholas did, which was he had this idea that every year he would go back to his uh, coach from childhood, Jack Grout, and they would start over as if uh, he was a beginner again. So he would do go through all the most basic things about his swing and sort of rebuild his swing. And it was the same swing, but he still built it from scratch every year. And so, and I think other athletes uh, report the same thing, thinking that the first thing they do if they're like a, you know, basketball player, do those very fundamental drills, which were the first things that you learned. And so I think this is designed to somewhat do that for you. So I think it works as, it's designed to get you a fundamental sound motion and then I think for myself what I like to do is every day I'll just spend a little bit of time swinging this getting a fundamental sense of how I should be shifting using my lower body and just very small partial swings and then go to my club now and I'm keeping that feeling in my mind of how that the timing of that is and then just work on some very small partial swings and just build up from there so every day you sort of start as if you're at the very beginning so the other thing I like to think about is I think the thing that people quickly lose is when you're really learning a swing you're learning to understand how this tool works and so you want to feel what the tool is doing so if you're just working with a club i would do sort of the same thing which is initially just work on this feeling how do i synchronize my body with this because some days you're going to be agitated some days you're going to be tired and so your timing if you're relying on sort of an internal clock, is going to be moving all over the place, right? You get more upset, you speed up, at least I speed up. People do different things, but if I get like frustrated, I become in a hurry. So I think the thing to do is start each practice with feel what this is doing, synchronize your body to it, and then go out, you know, as you start swinging, build up from this small feel, how is this moving? And do that every day as if you're just 
for the first time learning how to swing a club and so you're building always a new swing even if it's sort of the same swing and the other thing that will happen is so if you're not synchronized to this and you have a swing that has its own pattern and sequence let's say now your range of motion you're getting older you lose 10 percent now the whole timing and pattern and sequence that you've developed doesn't work anymore right so you have to no matter what be constantly adjusting yourself to how you're feeling that day what's stiff what's sore and really tuning yourself into what this club head is doing and if you can do that you're sort of always building a new swing and it doesn't have to be like a completely new swing but you can also slowly evolve it over time if that's comfortable for you but it is something that you can't the notion that you can create a swing lock it in groove it it will work forever it never happens to anybody so golf is a game that's constantly in flux as are all the elements in the world around you that you have to adjust to so don't think about getting something fixed think about creating something new every time you go out and i think that will be it's both more fun and more successful i think for people